With March Madness all around us, we're reminded of one of our favorite basketball stories. Steve Hartman brought it to us, and we knew you'd like to see it again. Here's Steve on the road. Down screen. A couple months ago. There it is. Just outside Greensboro, North Carolina. Go. The Bishop McGinnis boys basketball team had what may be the most remarkable game in school history. I still can't believe like that even happened. I felt like there was no one who could stop us. I will remember this game for the rest of my life. The game was against their arch rivals, Mount Airy High School. But to fully appreciate what happened here, you first need to know how Coach Josh Thompson prepared them for this night. It all started a few days earlier with an old ball and a gold sharpie. Coach Thompson told each player to pick someone to dedicate the game to. Could be an uncle, grandpa, one kid picked his parents. They all enjoyed the exercise. But safe to say, no one took it more seriously than junior guard Spencer Wilson. He picked his friend, Josh Rominger. Josh's passion for life just really drew me towards him. Spencer and Josh were two great friends with one lousy thing in common. They both had cancer. The difference was Spencer beat his, and Josh didn't. He died nine months ago. His joy illuminated the room, and it was always apparent to me that he was special. Before the game, Spencer wrote a letter to Josh's mom, explaining what they were doing and why he would be playing for Josh. Just wanted to let you know the impact your son has on my life to this day. I will never forget him. Play for Josh. I read it and cried. Josh's mom, Dina Rominger. They just had that bond. Nobody else knew how Josh felt except for Spencer. Spencer says he still thinks about Josh every day. That's why this opportunity meant so much to him. During the timeouts when we touched the ball, you know, I, I found where I wrote Josh. And I looked for that and uh, put your hand on it. Put my hand on it every single time. And thought of him. Yes. So, it meant a whole lot to me. Which brings us to the end of that game. With two seconds left on the clock, Bishop down by a point, and their rivals at the free throw line. Bishop needed a miracle, and some say that's exactly what they got. Rebound comes down to Gardner, he leads it ahead to Wilson, he's going to lob it up from three, four to court, that's got a shot, it's good! Oh my goodness, Spencer Wilson from 50 feet out wins the game for the Villains! In the official record book, Spencer Wilson will get credit for that remarkable Hail Mary. But the boys here at Bishop believe Spencer's friend Josh deserves at least an assist. And no matter what you believe, you've got to score one for friendship. Steve Hartman, on the road, near Greensboro. And that's the CBS Evening News for tonight. For all of us at CBS News all around the world, I'm Scott Pelley, and I'll see you Sunday on 60 Minutes.